What's going on everyone? My name is Victor and today I'm back with another tutorial. Today we'll be covering a crazy powerful tool in After Effects. So that tool that we're going to be covering is called Auto Trace. It's probably one of the most slept on tools, at least for me. I really need to use it more because it's pretty handy and hopefully after this tutorial you'll be able to utilize its full creative potential. So what's Auto Trace? Basically it's a way for After Effects to analyze your scene and then it just creates masks on whatever you tell it to. So there's a couple different options on it. So you can do alpha, luminance, or red, green, or blue channels. And what's cool too is it doesn't have to just be a photo. So we're going to hop into After Effects right now and do it on a video. So here I've got this footage in After Effects from a recent tutorial. If you wanna watch that, it's right here. But have your footage pulled up make sure that layer is clicked and then go up to layer and scroll down to almost the bottom and there is auto trace go and hit that now one of the first thing that you'll see at the top and it's probably already clicked it says current frame so if you're doing a video and you want it to go the duration of the video you're not going to want to have current frame on because that's just going to be what you're seeing right there so click on work area and then i change the channel to luminance so that it would be selecting and masking the brighter parts of the scene now go and hit ok Okay, and it'll begin auto tracing and then you should see a bunch of masks all over the bright spaces of your video and now you have the freedom to create any masks that you don't want to be on there and then the creativity to do whatever because you didn't have to spend all that time masking like this is nuts now if you want to highlight all those masks to make adjustments to all of them at the same time and it's not already highlighted go ahead and click one and then hold command and type a and now highlight all of those masks so i changed the mask mode to add and that already created a super cool look i could totally see using that in a music video with some other stylistic choices going on in the frame but if you want the reverse effect of that just change it to subtract and now you have all the darker sides showing and then a hole on all the lighter spaces now we can undo the auto trace just by highlighting all those masks and deleting them now say you wanted to refine that search so it's not just highlighting all the bright spots but maybe you just want the brightest spots so let's go in and do that so go layer and auto trace now i boosted the threshold to 85 percent and then hit ok it auto trace and now as you can see it only selected the glowing eyes all right now for another example here's just a photo of a speed limit sign so let's go in there layer auto trace and see what we can do so since it's just a photo we're just going to leave it on current frame and not the whole work area i'm going to set the channel to luminance again now if you look to the bottom left hand side of that auto trace box there's a little check box that says preview if you turn that on it will show you what it's going to be masking so we can see the color outlines of all the individual masks that will be happening so this way you don't have to just keep clicking and guessing what's going to be masked out you can change the threshold or any other setting just so you can get that as refined as possible and as specific to what you want and then go ahead and hit OK. And that does not just apply to the photos. You can do that with the video as well. Now just to show you one of many creative possibilities that you could be using this for is I'm going to make this sign say 355 miles an hour just simply by adjusting these masks. So I start deleting some of the masks and then because the three and the five are already masked out, it's just as simple as duplicating your layer, changing Changing the mask mode from add and subtract scaling and repositioning and then I can just make it exactly 355 in their font so now I don't have to completely recreate a speed limit sign if I want it to say 355 miles an hour I can just use those numbers and then you can do things like having the certain letters flicker on and off I mean you could do whatever you want the possibilities really are endless well I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and are as excited as me to incorporate that little hidden tool into to your workflow if you didn't know about it or if you haven't been using it already if you like this video leave me a thumbs up comment what you thought down below and then subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you in the next one